Hello and thank you for tuning in to Far Above Rubies today. As we continue our walk through this month's topical study on prayer, the Word of God, belonging to the body of Christ, and servant leadership, we are again today digging deep into belonging to the body of Christ. The question we are asking today again is how? How do we effectively belong to the body of Christ. And we're going to talk about some practical application answers today, okay? Practical application. Your reading challenge for today is very short, but there are some additional scriptures I will list throughout today's devotional. Your reading challenge is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, and we'll read it together right now. It says this, And let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. What does belonging to the body of Christ, being a part of the body, look like in the day to day? It's great as a big grand notion, I belong to the body of Christ. Day to day, week to week, month to month, year over year, what does it look like to belong to the body of Christ? Let's start at the top meeting together. We cannot say we belong to a body of Christ and this is this is the dead honest truth. We cannot say we belong to the body of Christ if we do not regularly meet with the body of Christ, okay? We need to regularly meet to worship together, to dig into the word together. We need to belong to the body, not just say we belong to the body. We need to show up and be faithful and be consistent. And it's just that simple. There's no magic formula. There's no, when the season of my life gets right, then I will faithfully and consistently show up to belong to a body of Christ. That's not how life works. We belong to the family of God, to the body of Christ when it's convenient and when it's not convenient. We are faithful. We show up because one, we need their support, and two, they need our support, both collectively and individually. People depend on you in the body of Christ, and when you are absent, the body of Christ is lesser for it, okay? Show up, be faithful, be consistent, get involved, serve, love. We're going to get there, okay? I'm getting ahead of myself. Have meals together. Acts chapter 2, it says they had meals together. They broke bread house to house. A very simple statement. That means they hung out and they ate food. What a more simple picture could exist of the body of Christ than hanging out and having a meal together, laughing and talking and joking, and when necessary, crying and hugging and supporting. Do life together. Share the ups and downs. Have a meal. You are not too busy to do life with the body of Christ. If you think you are too busy to do life with the body of Christ, then you are simply too busy. Scale back the things that do not matter in eternity and connect with the body of Christ. Another thing that is the day-to-day -day of being part of the body of Christ is giving and being generous. Again, in Acts chapter 2, we see that example. The church took care of each other, giving to those in need. Do you see a need within the body of Christ? Fill it without expectation of what you will receive in return. And when it's your turn, when you are in need, whether financially, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, then the Lord will make sure the body tends to your need. Don't show up to the body only when you have a need. Mm. Every pastor's wife that is in this, in this earshot of this devotional just said, Amen. <laughs> Do not show up to the body only when you have a need. Belong to the body. You are part of the family or you are not. Don't show up just when you have a need. Show up to also Fill needs. That doesn't have to mean that you financially meet the needs in the church because you maybe don't have the financial resources to fill every need in the church. But my friend, if you can babysit someone's kids, if you can wash someone's car, if you can encourage them and send them a letter, you can tend to the spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical needs in the church. Do not 
only show up to the body when you have a need. Be there to fill the needs of others because that's what being the body looks like. Giving of yourself, giving of your time, energy, and resources, being generous, okay? What else does it look like to be a part of the body? Serving, being a servant to the body. Uh, Acts chapter 6 talks about this. The body saw a need and they said, hey, apostles, elders, leaders, why don't you guys jump in here and do something about this? And what the head guys said was, you're capable of taking care of this yourself. You are capable of serving this need. So choose some capable people among you and assign this task to them and let them serve the body. Serve one another. It is not only your leaders who should be serving. Everyone should serve in some capacity in the body of Christ. Pick up a broom next time you go to church and sweep the floor. Wipe down the mirrors. Empty the trash cans. You say, well, we have a janitor that does that. Take a load off the janitor's plate and serve. Be helpful. Fill the coffee station. Give a cup of coffee out with a smile. Open the door for someone. Talk to a brand new guest. Talk to a longtime member who's feeling or looking lonely. You need to serve. If you belong to a body of Christ, you should be serving. I don't care if you belong there for five seconds or 50 years, you should be serving the body of Christ. I don't care if you've known God for five seconds or 50 years, you should be serving the body of Christ. Don't just sit back and be a consumer. I'm going to say that again. Don't just sit back and be a consumer. Make sure that you are serving. Make sure that you are offering of yourself. The only time a body part doesn't actually serve the body is when it is lame. Don't be lame. Get up and serve the body. Don't be lame, okay? That's a joke, but I want you to have that in your head. I want it to stick in there. The only time a member of the body doesn't serve the body is when it is lame. Serve the body. Fulfill your purpose inside and outside the four walls of the church. What does service look like outside the four walls? It looks like bringing a meal to someone who needs it, not just because a loved one passed away, but because they, that mom just needs a break or that couple is having a hard time between each other and they just need dinner off of their itinerary for the night. It means, like I said, babysitting someone's kid. That's not inside the four walls, that's outside the four walls. Find a way to serve inside and outside the four walls of your church. Lastly, belonging to the body of Christ looks like in the day to day, loving your community, serving the world around you. Look at Matthew chapter 25. We talked about it yesterday. Serve those around you. Okay. Do you think that when Jesus said, you saw me in prison and you visited me, and they said, when did we do this? He said, when you did it to the least of these, you did it to me. Do you think that the only people they were visiting in prison were those who belonged to the body of Christ? Do you think the only hungry ones they fed were those that belonged to the body of Christ? Or do you think they fed hungry people, whether they belonged or not? They visited those in prison, whether they belonged or not. They clothed the naked, whether they belonged or not. The body is not a country club. It is not exclusive. It is whosoever will. Love your community. Represent your local body well. When they see you in the community and you're sporting your, your church's logo on your shirt, let them say, hey, that must be some awesome kind of church because that person loves her community so well. Be a part of the body of Christ. Don't be grumpy and unchristlike in public. Just don't do it. If you need to be grumpy and unchrist like go home, lock yourself in a room and get right with Jesus. Don't be grumpy and unchrist like in public. Represent the body of Christ well because part of the body of Christ, part of being the body of Christ is loving your community. It's serving them well. It's them having a smile on their face when they see you coming because they know you are a helpful person with a servant's heart who loves people. Okay, They may not understand your faith, they may not understand your religion, but they can understand your heart and that will witness to them the love of Jesus Christ. What does it look like to belong to the body? It looks like all of these things day to day. Go read Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25. The other passages mentioned were Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 6, and Matthew chapter 25. If no one has told you lately, you are loved and you are cherished and you are 
valuable. You have beautiful and tremendous worth, my friend, and that worth is far above rubies. Thank you for being here today, and I will see you all again very soon. God bless you.